Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Need to Know Show, we're going to talk about one of the big main reasons why you can't sleep after knee replacement surgery and what you can do about it. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So when it comes to sleeping after knee replacement surgery and insomnia and just difficulty falling asleep, difficulty staying asleep, there's a lot of different reasons. There's the pain, there's the stiffness, discomfort, swelling. Um, all those things, of course, play an important role. But I want to talk about something that's not physical, not, um, doesn't have to do with the actual knee itself. And it's probably one of the biggest reasons why you're kind of caught in this trap of not being able to fall asleep. Um, and it's, you know, it kind of feeds into making all those other things worse and worse. And that's the psychological or the mental component. And what I mean by this is when you're sitting there or laying there trying to fall asleep, you have all this pain, you have all this stiffness, discomfort, you start to build up anxiety, worry, frustration, a feeling of hopelessness, a feeling of just general upsetness, um, depression, all of these psychological and mental complications, I guess we can call them. And it's, it's common, it's normal, of course you are. I mean, you're laying there, you have no distractions, you have nothing to think about, so all your mind is focusing on is not being able to sleep. I'm laying here, I wanna fall asleep, I can't fall asleep, I have pain, I have discomfort, this is awful, this is terrible, I'm never gonna be able to fall asleep, what can I do? And your brain basically just, your brain won't shut off, you know? It's just highlighting and just increasing that pain and that discomfort. And you start to, over time, you start to have a negative association with laying down in bed or in your recliner or whatever that may be because you start to make that association between laying down and being in discomfort, being in pain, having anxiety, having frustration, and it's just this really negative kind of domino effect or chain of events or a, a vicious cycle, whatever you want to think of it as, it just feeds into itself negatively. It makes it harder and harder for you to fall asleep. And so probably some of you out there are saying, well, yeah, I got that already. I know that. What can I do about it? Well, my recommendation and this is, you know, not a professional recommendation. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a sleep expert, anything like that. But this is just what I've learned from working with different people after surgery is you don't want to just stay in bed and kind of just stay focused on that thing. You need to break out of the cycle of overthinking and the cycle of having your brain on this overdrive of frustration and hopelessness. So what you want to do is get out of bed and go do something else. Go do something calm, something relaxing, something that's not too crazy, but don't just lay in bed and wait and hope that you'll fall asleep. So go read a book. Maybe go do some journaling. Maybe go for a short walk around the house or around the block if you can. Maybe do some stretching or some light exercises or range of motion exercises. Maybe do some meditation if that's something you're into and enjoy. Or maybe just some prayer if that's something that um, you would like to do as well. Something that is going to take your mind off of the difficulty of sleeping. One thing that I heard about that I think is a really cool strategy is called just a brain dump. And basically it's you get out a piece of paper or a journal or whatever, something to write with, and just write things down. Write down your worries, write down your anxieties, write down what's on your mind, um, you know, what's keeping you up, write down your goals, write down your plan for the next day. Just write things down and get them down on paper and out of your brain and out of your mind. And, you know, do these strategies. Try one or a couple of these strategies and just give yourself time. Don't rush, you know, I'm going to do this five minutes, I'm going to jump back in bed. Take as much time as you need for your brain and your mind to calm down, maybe for your knee to settle down a little bit. And then just when you start to feel calm, when you start to feel a little bit more drowsy, 
then slowly work your way back into laying down, trying to fall asleep. And just understand the big picture is that it's very, very common and not abnormal at all to have these difficulties after having knee replacement surgery. Most people, over a few weeks, it starts to get better and better, and they start to sleep a little more, a little more over time, and eventually, within a few weeks, maybe for some folks a little bit longer, you're back to sleeping relatively normal again. So give it time, kind of see through this process, and maybe use some of these strategies that I talked about to help alleviate and try to break up that, that vicious cycle of overthinking it, of keeping yourself up at night and having difficulty falling asleep. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please, if you give it a try, let me know how it goes. Let me know if you found this beneficial, these strategies. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. I always appreciate them and do my best to respond to them. And always be sure to hit that like button so you can spread this video out to other viewers. Thank you very much for watching.